getting ready to run all the hoses and finish welding on the core support where we had to modify it. Getting all the hoses going. Power steering Power reservoir. Steering reservoir. Where do we want to go, Tim? Where should it go? Mm -hmm. By the engine? By the engine. All right. In the engine bay. I mean, you could potentially come off the back, but this, like I said, this one's too long. You'll be into your header. Yeah. You got this little guy who can cut all the ears off and mount forever. Yeah. I'm almost wondering if we kind of go right here with it. Yeah, it doesn't look unsightly and it'll be black anyway. Right. Fill the bracket. Once we get our coil covers, we'll know how much room we've got. Yeah. When you're short with your lines, but, you know, you start mounting it over here, here, you, you got, run stuff you got lines yeah. running everywhere, so. Yep. Probably somewhere right in this area. So we'll because you know. you're up above the header here. Yeah. And then we can sneak the lines this way if we have to. Right. That's about as good as any. I wish you could get a better cap. We might have to make a new cap for this. Yeah. Yeah, I looked and they all of them have that same sentimental cap on them. Right. And you've got your air intake coming here so you're you're limited i mean you, you really hate to mount it somewhere like this i'd rather see it back behind yeah at least it's kind of packed at least better. it kind of looks like the tank that would normally hook on one right yeah well we can hopefully come off of these like these two lower valve cover bolts and build a bracket off of that to hold this thing right yeah. here when we get those we'll see what room we have right all right So I'll call and I'll find out about the coil covers and whatever. Right. And I'll call the about the tube tank stuff. Okay. But I don't know what it's going to do as far as the cover goes, but they may yeah. know. So I'll call them. But hopefully, they said they had them. They were being anodized. They were already sent out for anodizing. I wanted to get them in raw aluminum, but they, they were already sent out. So. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get those here sooner than later so we know exactly. Yeah, because you know. they're going to come up, you know, so it might move us out this way a little bit, depending on how yeah, high we'll they see how much room we have. Right. What is that doohickey? Hmm? It's a tool to measure backspace for wheels. It's a brand new one. Our last one just had two attachment points, like up top and bottom, and the tire would be all distorted moving around. So this has three attachment points. Keeps the tire centered up. Who makes that? CC Tech. Huh. Yeah, that gives us a little more room back there. But less room out here. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of wheel lip here that we can work with. Yeah, there's so. I mean, it can go down a lot. Yeah. That's that thinner curve as I go on the jack all the way. We went yeah. all yeah. We're now we moved it out a little bit. We're going to go up again. Yeah. But yeah. Make sure. It's right there. 
all are. I figure we'll just barely we'll either trim this or roll probably roll it so it's a nice smooth transition. I think you're fine. There's a funky little peak right here that could probably go away. You know that little peak there? You gotta figure the coil over will never compress that. Coil. No, no. But I mean, it's, it's, you can get in here. This is kind of close right here. It's, it's close. Yeah. There's always up in there. Though. Yeah. Well, we could, we could take, we can roll that thing up. I probably start up here and here and just kind of work the whole like start to roll right up in there that way it's not just cut real short yeah it'll just start to transition as you go up through here yeah right. well, that works do we have a truck we want to try okay. yeah we have one well you can get a 315 in there 315 is about all they like that's what they say the max is on this roaster shop yeah i can believe that it's it's close to everything. It's tight, but it looks good. It does look good. This is a access panel for the fuel pump. Okay. That way you don't have to drop the tank to take the pump out. Dump out the back? Uh, it's gonna actually drop down, come under, and go all the way back. We have to we have to cross under like right here and then back up. Because they don't want it to dump here, they want it to dump out the back. Uh, you could just dump it here, but they're not going to. They want it to cross over the frame and turn down back here. Like this. Tuck it up. It could be easy, but it's not. Yeah, there's just no room. I mean at full bump, there's there's no room to get through there. But we're getting through there. Everything's in the way. There's uh, two here on the each side, and then two here on the each side. And make sure it stays in there. Yeah, we need, we need Charles to pull the trigger on this cut on the end of here, and that'll be it. Other than that, it should. We're waiting on Charles. Just gotta figure out how you're gonna turn them down. Well, is that gonna be cut this, flat? Well, there's two ways. There's this way, which is a 45 into a, a like a long taper, a long cut. And then there's this style, which to me doesn't look right, but it also does the same thing, but then the exhaust is round. The consensus is that one, but we have to see what the powers of B say. Yeah. This one looks a lot better. Yeah, I think that looks better. Yeah. And then whatever the, however they want to do the, the final cut, we'll have to do that before we put them on there. But yeah, that kind of follows everything else. So, but we will see what he says.
exhaust tip. We have decided that is what it's going to look like. That's the winner. That is the go one. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.